loads of gold. A sulfur. And then four gold produces a diamond. Wow. So it works, but it's going to take a hell of a long time. Jesus. Okay. Well, when I was mining over there, over that ridge line is another pretty nice flat area. So what I'm going to do is Toby and I have differences about building, as you can tell. His his house and my thing. This is not the finished product. It looks kind of weird. But he likes to build just blocks. I like to kind of go a bit architectural. So I'm going to build my base over there and because he doesn't watch the videos he won't know that I've built something over there it's gonna be like a secret base so that, I'll test it here and then move it over there afterwards and I think I'll test it inside a mountain like this one have a little like secret base inside the mountain I think because that's cool and that makes you awesome. So I think if I just get the foundations going. I mean, it's going to be pretty simple. It's just block breakers destroying cobblestone, which leads to pipes. The pipes lead it into an automated crafting table. Because it's only going to be cobblestone. I was thinking about linking it with a quarry, but then you have to sort it all out and move the quarry. This is an endless cycle. Because it's just constantly going to produce cobblestone, no matter what. La ding 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 ding. And yeah. I mean, it's going to be slow, unless I have like 30 or something going at one time. Which I suppose could be arranged. But. Eh. The idea is there. Let's make this room a bit bigger. And there's a cave nearby. Brilliant. Brilliant. I don't know how big this room needs to be. Copper. Copper only spawns near the surface. I haven't found a single block down below. It's all near the surface. And you need a hell of a lot of it to be able to make stuff. You get the normal, uh, what's it called? The normal one? Oh, man. It slipped my mind. It's the other mods proper at lower levels. Uh, industrial craft or build craft? One of those two. You get that copper at lower levels, but this stuff just does not appear at lower levels. And this one looks cooler, I think. Not particularly like copper, it just like has a different arrangement to it. I like it. I just sound weird. Oh yeah, Tom will be joining me again soon, don't worry. You won't have to deal with solo commentary for much longer. It's just that he's like still in school when I'm at college, so I have a lot more time off than him. So I have time to be able to do solos like this. And when he's out, like doing what he should be doing, which is studying, which is what you should be doing, rather than watching this playthrough. But thank you for joining us anyway. Hmm? Speaking of studying, I should be really doing coursework. <laughs> oh, that's come to bite me in the ass, hasn't it? Saying, that, oh, you should be studying. You should be too, hypocrite. Touché, touché. Anyway. That's all good. Oh wow, I have a full inventory. Flip it now. Do that. It's gonna look ugly, but it needs to be a square. Whoa, I almost clicked then. And he has 20, I don't know how many uses it has, but it doesn't seem to use too much. 
But it means I will have to swap them out again, so I'm going to have to either find a... Can I make the hearts? Can I... Is there really that kind of abuse in this? How do you spell... I can't even spell heart now. I can't even spell the name of it. Oh, it's shard. Oh, it looks like a heart. You know, that's, that looks like a beating heart. No, they can't be produced. And I don't know where you get those either. I mean, I could produce insert stone, inert, inert stones. But I need to actually collect the hearts. So it's not completely automated. But better than it was. Better than currently mining every single wall. Okay. So the lava goes on one side, the water goes on the other, and then when they meet, they create cobblestone with a block breaker uh, ready to destroy the blocks immediately afterwards. That should be how it works. Which is why I'm building it underground, because it's more about digging channels rather than making it work, so it makes sense to dig it under, to put it underground. Even though this is kind of at normal level. And then pipes will... Uh, so if I have a line here... A line. Well, I could do one line of water to well, one lava line to two water lines. I think it would be more efficient to do water. Will be water breaker lava water breaker lava water breaker lava. Yeah. I suppose I could go one more this way. And have a water line. Cool, and then it will go through. And the pipes. Well, I suppose the final chest could be like here, so I could put all the piping to lead. All the crab tables could be on this side. Oh, I like that idea actually. Okay, this is, this is how it's going to go. So all the block breakers are going to be here. The pipe, they'll lead up to this spot, then it will bring the pipe along the top to this spot. Then the pipe will go across and down here f through the crafting tables one by one and creating each piece of the puzzle to get a diamond and then the final chest will be like here where the diamond is created. Ah, oh, that sounds so good. Have it created and then just lead off from there into the final one. And I'm going to use Buildcraft because that automatically sends and I won't need any like with drawers from the chest or anything. Just use the normal uh, pipes because there's no chance of overflow. Because there's so little diamonds will be produced overall, unless this thing is super ridiculous efficient, which I can't see it being. And I just if worst comes to worst, just make a crystal chest, and if it fills that, then I really am rich. Let's get this. 
That sheep needs to shut up. <laughs> this patchwork job is awful. I've even trapped myself. It's that awful. How far back is it going to go? I think three is enough. Gives me some room to manoeuvre the pipes. And two should be high enough because they're going to be placed in the ground so the pipes can go up and across. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you have iron. Oh, God. There's a creeper. He didn't drop his iron. Stupid. Stay back! Ugh, he's ruining my landscape. Creepers, I don't know. Ugh. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Making me some infinite diamonds. There we go. Oh, see that? Fifty-eight rubber. Can't fit it anywhere. Forty-two tin. I'm running out of space again. This is ridiculous. I have to start building chests up here. Okay. Well, rubber wood is still useless, and rubber is pretty flipping useful, so. Because it's used for all insulated cabling and stuff like that, so I need to get. And there's like 50 trees outside. So another stack of that wood can be converted. Uh, this stuff can come out. Electric furnace. So he needs it's just an iron furnace with a thingy on top. Okay. That's cool. Furnace, I have one spare. I need iron. I need those as well. And that, actually. And iron, where are you? Am I completely out? I see my damn invent. Do 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 and furnace. Oh wait, I don't need that. I need that. There we go. And that, and that, and that. Cool. Free smithing. Oh, still going up. Oh wait, I'm not using the mass right, that's why. Okay, it's up there. Take those out. Cool. 